How is this word pronounced? Cache or cache? Your website is faster after taking care of your host and images, right? Now let's turbocharge it. If your website is a meal, caching is like pre-cooking it so that your visitors do not have to wait. Welcome to the WordPress performance series. In this part three, I'll be talking to you about caching and how you can turn it on on your WordPress website. What exactly is caching? Caching saves a copy of a page. So every time someone visits your website, WordPress needs to connect with the database to assemble all the parts before it can be displayed to them, which is just like them downloading the content before they can see it. So caching takes a snapshot, which is a static HTML copy and serves that copy instantly by passing that slow process. So how do you turn on caching on WordPress? You can do it using plugins paid or free, and then you can do it programmatically if you know how to code. In this video, I will talk about how you can use free plugin to turn on caching system on WordPress. My top picks are WP Super Cache and Lightspeed Cache. I'll be explaining how you can use Lightspeed Cache. All you have to do is go to your WordPress plugin repo, install and activate the plugin. So when you're done installing the Lightspeed Cache, you come to the settings here, then you click on Cache. So when you click on Cache, the first setting is actually the cache. All you have to do is enable Cache, you turn it on. Then you can enable for login user if you have login users. Then you can enable cache commenters, right? The other thing you can do is to just enable the time to leave, right? You can see the time to leave here. You can leave it as this or set it up according to your preference, right? That's basically all you need to do. If you want me to do a full introductory video on Lightspeed Cache, drop a comment or make a video on that. If you also use hosts like SiteGround, Kinstar, or Hostinger and the likes, you don't have to worry too much about caching you just have to turn on that particular feature because they already have that caching system built in enabling caching is one of the biggest and most important thing you can do for your website as a wordpress developer or as a wordpress website owner do this now and your website will feel lightning fast like share and follow for more wordpress performance tips and i will see you in the next video